Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Casual Pro Gamer. Once again we are doing a smite game and once again we are Kali and once again we are with a viewer here with Simon once again. Um, this time he is playing Vamana and um, I am going for uh, well my standard opening of uh, Hand of the Gods with uh, reinforced boots level 1. I was looking at the other boots for a moment but I really just want these. So the reinforced boots are excellent on virtually any character um, including the mid champions and uh, yeah our, our tactic here is bo both of us have the hand of the gods we're going to s uh, get as many of the buffs in the right side jungle as we can so um, we're starting off with the uh, health buff there and the mana buff on the other side and um, yeah, assuming that the enemies don't want those same buffs, uh, we should be fine. So I'm going to hide over here and look around. And I see this guy coming. But I hope he can't see me. But then he does. So I have to run out. <laughs> Which is kind of unfortunate. Doing a little bit of damage there. And obviously we're going to run all the way back. Uh, because I can see on the minimap she's still following me. And uh, yeah, pretending to go for this one, then running back, because I assume at this point that she's out of, well, she's back into the lane, uh, because people don't really, uh, yeah, they don't really defend these things, and yeah, you should of course defend these things, because uh, especially before the, uh, well, the thing spawns, the the uh, lane spawn, uh, you should just make sure that nobody takes your buff or that you take your buff because at 10 seconds they will spawn and um, yeah we saw the on the minimap I don't know if you noticed that but we saw them going for uh, for the Vamana at the health buff and that's why I got the free mana buff obviously I needed to heal because I was super low and I didn't get the heal buff that's why I like to get the heal buff early on instead of the um, yeah, instead of this one, the mana buff is fine, but it's more of a counter jungle action than an actual, well, something that I would like to have. Uh, later in the game, it becomes opposite, of course, once you have some health uh, going and, um, well, things like that. Uh, once you have some health, once you have some, uh, some mana going, uh, it is way better to just get the, the mana buff instead of that health buff. So I took quite a lot of damage here from the minions and um, yeah the knockback actually putting this guy in some trouble but I am in some trouble as well so I have to run out and we are not going to get a kill. Well in fact they are going to get a kill because the um, first time that he played Vamana but it's all good, it's all good. We uh, We still have control over the lane because we still have that buff advantage and um, yeah I'm about half health here which is not good but well we'll see for now I'll just uh, chill a little bit at the tower going to get 60% of the gold anyway even if I don't do anything so I'm just going to stand back and make sure that they can't hit me at this point yeah it doesn't really matter what they do with the uh, with the tower even if they uh, do some damage to it that first tower is not that important of course it gives them uh, a, a lot of gold so you don't want to give it away but yeah the turrets have way or the towers have way too little hit points to really be um, well be defendable I mean you can just uh, yeah, you can pretty much just, just lose your tower uh, by being out of the lane for like 10 seconds. And that's literally the case. Because you can take down a tower in about 10 seconds. And that is a little bit peculiar to say the least. So I am going here for... Because I need to recall here. Um, I have uh, 450 gold. and So that's going to be about 500 by the time I get home. And... Um, yeah, I just wanted to pick up another buff because I had my uh, hand of the gods up. That's what you do every time hand of the gods is up. You pick a, uh, you look at the minimap, see what buff is up, and you just take the most useful one. 
So uh, the enemies seem to be going for uh, just a push in the right lane. And yeah, Vamana is good enough to hold that off. So um, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm trying to buy some health potions, but I couldn't find them. Okay, excellent. <laughs> excellent. So we are going back into the lane here, and it should all be okay then. Because, um, yeah, that's... Uh, I, I'm pretty much uh, full health now. Well, I am full health now. Pretty much full mana, and... Um, yeah, we are just going to go back into the lane, do some damage here, and um, now with my uh, with my heal up, because my E is kind of a heal, it also does damage. So it does two things at the same time, but it does only very limited amounts of damage. Um, yeah, it's a great heal though. So when I um, when I use that, I can pretty much stay in lane forever. So yeah, don't mind the chat and the uh, uh, voice commands because we're just basically, uh, well, r doing random stuff there. So yeah, you saw the knockback from uh, Anhur there, and he is just, uh, yeah, he is one of the stronger champions, or no, the stronger utility champions in my opinion. He has a slow, he has a knockback, he has a huge crap ton of damage on his ultimate. And um, he has a jump, so all in all, it is just a great thing to have as a uh, well as a champion, because it's so much utility. So out of health, out of mana, we're going back. And yeah, for mana, just went for the heal buff. We are keeping an eye on that. Um, we can't go to the uh, the mana buff at this point, because it is just way too risky. And yeah, well, that's just the way it is, I guess. I mean, uh, I would like to have the mana buff now, because um, yeah, by now the mana is the problem, not so much the the health. I do have some uh, some armor, some magic resist, and I do have this guy now. Come on, alt. Oh, I already used my alt. Oh, I used my alt on the minions, right? Yeah, I could have picked up this kill if I had uh, my ultimate. And we're not going to chase that any further. They're going to come in anyway. So, no worries. Pretty much just waiting around for things to happen here. Because uh, in the early game, it's still a little bit of farming. And even if you're, uh, if you're up against weaker champions... You want to farm up a little bit, but in this case we're up against uh, two very strong champions. And I'm going for the uh, armor buff here, but then I see that my lane gets attacked. And yeah, I shouldn't have left him alone. First time he plays that champion. So the tower goes down, but yeah, well, as I said, that's not a big deal. And we're just going to defend the turrets. Because defending the turret, the second turret, is way more important than getting the kills. But by the time this uh, this second turret dies, which will take a while, you should be strong enough to actually, uh, well, defend your lanes. So I use my Hand of the Gods there to just get the first three minions. And, well, that's something you can do. It's not a great thing, but it does work. I was wondering, can you actually see people walking here if you're in the lane? I'm not actually sure. I'm not sure what that fog is supposed to do, but I think that might be the reason they have fog in the jungle. So Simon getting a kill there, and um, yeah, that's the the advantage of that ultimate. You uh, you get a lot of damage, and you can't die anymore. Well, at that moment. And yeah, we're going for Zin's Blades because they do a crap ton of damage, especially in the later game. So I don't want early game items. I don't care about early game items because early game items are kind of lame. They uh, yeah, they make you have an awesome early game, but then in the later game, they don't do anything anymore. 
Of course I have an early game item, that's the Hand of the Gods. Uh, that is really an early game item because, well, it doesn't do anything anymore. Uh, once you reach a certain level, then uh, it's just like a very limited amount of, uh, of damage. Well, it is a very limited amount of damage, but in the beginning it's a very big limited amount of damage. So um, he's going for the, uh, the damage buff here. And it's already done. I wanted that, man. No, I didn't. <laughs> anyway, going back into the lane. And we're going to just push this turret. Because they took our turret. So what we need to two, take two of their, their turrets. Because that's fair. Right? At least that's my idea of fair. But, <laughs> yeah, well, anyhow, we're going to take down this turret. I think we're going to take it down uh, most, uh, yeah, for the most part, and then uh, we will get ganked here by a very, very scary Anur, who uses his all of his abilities on me and gets me to about 30% health. And then I just walk out because I didn't even have my speed buff. My speed buff is my one, a Q, whatever you want to call it. And we are going for a little more protection here, so. Um, uh, reinforced boots level three means that um, you get uh, uh, reduced uh, crowd control effects, and there uh, you see the ultimate healed him up enough so that he can actually escape. The ultimate has a great heal on it. Hey, yeah, there was no way I was going to go one versus two and live. Plus, this buff is up, so might as well go for the buff instead. And we are going to uh, just heal up a little on these guys. And uh, oh no, not heal up. Okay, uh, we're going to just take them out then. I could have used my heal there and uh, gotten to full health, but yeah, since it's a health buff, it doesn't really matter too much. And I guess it's better to not spend too much mana on it then, because it is a health buff and not a mana buff. And um, yeah, I'm out of mana here. But I saw the Artemis coming in. And yeah, this guy is so fast. And with that heal, it is so annoying to deal with. But yeah, I am faster, so I'm just going to cut off the retreat. Make sure that um, I can get a hit on her every time she runs past me. But yeah, eventually we do get the kill here. But yeah, it took forever to do that. So, um, yeah, she almost got away, but yeah, didn't really run for the exits when she had the chance. And um, yeah, we uh, we got our skills back up, and of course the AoE skills, they uh, hit her all the time, even if she tries to dodge. It's the single target damage skills that are so hard to heal, to hit, sorry. And yeah, with her heal and that movement speed boost... She's just very, very hard to aim at, especially with melee attacks, and um, <laughs> yeah, especially with melee attacks and melee skills. But hey, we got it done, and I'm going for this mana buff. So no uh, skills available. Because, yeah, I'm completely out of mana. So I'm going to take it down to about uh, half health. It's a little bit, well, over half health. Because I think they have about a thousand health. And I do 600, so... It doesn't actually say how high it is, so you need to just guess. And I just wanted to make sure that uh, nobody could steal that away from me. Because that would have sucked. Anyway, I think I'm going home here. Not actually sure though, because I have both buffs. Yeah, I'm going home. I have 800 gold. There's really no reason to stay in, um, but yeah, well, except for the fact that I had the two buffs. And, and full health, full mana, and with a mana buff. And uh, come on, use your one. Yeah, there we go. I mean, using that one makes that I use some mana, and that makes my mana buff <laughs> useful. <laughs> Otherwise, it's so useless. So the damage buff is up. 
I don't think. Oh, we we took it. Yeah, we took it once. But yeah, getting the control over that jungle is really so important because if you have the control over the jungle, you not only get uh, the buffs, you also get more gold. You get uh, yeah. And this is really annoying about this camera position. <laughs> I couldn't see uh, anything, so uh, I just had to guess that I was going to hit that. And we are indeed uh, capable of hitting something without seeing it. But hey, the baby going for that uh, that kill. Yeah, he was uh, following me, so might as well just go after him. Because that is what we do. Come on, get him. Our knockback. Stupid knockback. So, getting some more damage done. And. <laughs> Vamana just tower diving like a baby. But he is going to make it out at very low health. <laughs> oh man, that was really too low. That was insane. So, uh, yeah, this guy popping a mana potion, but mana potions aren't going to help you, dude. I'm just going to follow you around. Yeah, I don't have a, a, a speed boost, and that is really annoying. Because I'm out of mana. And I need that speed boost to chase her. So, yeah, even though the mana uh, buff didn't really help her, she was going to get away. And I am going to get this buff because it's up. That's the only reason you need to take them. So yeah, that was a little bit late. Someone could have come in and stole it. But yeah, not really paying 100% attention because we were having too much fun. So yeah, I haven't pulled up the the tab screen yet. Oh, I'm going for the for the frostbound hammer to avoid that what happened just now. So uh, that hell needs to be slowed in order to uh, well to get a nice amount of hits on her. And I can get the number of hits on her when I have my uh, my one running. My speed boof, buff. Boof. That's boost and buff. Um, <laughs> yeah when I have that running um, I can pretty much uh, follow her wherever she goes, but then yeah, my speed boost wears off, and um, yeah, I pretty much am stuck then to where I was. So uh, no hand of the gods here. So it's a little bit risky, yeah, not very, of course, because these uh, enemies don't really pay attention, and they don't really see that I'm going for these uh, these buffs anyway. Hello, Vamana. You want some uh, baby? No, um, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> oh man, I am not at all into this. Um, no, I'm not concentrating at all on what's happening. Uh, we're just winning at this point. I wasn't concentrating when I played the game, so why should I concentrate when I commented, right? And we are going to grab some, uh, yeah, some some extra minions. We're going to push this tower, but the minions are still a long way away. And yeah, let's just get these minions. And yeah, he misses another skill shot because obviously I'm not going to just stand around for him to hit me. But well, I guess he thought I would. And we are pushing into the tower. Going to grab that tower. Uh, unfortunately, Anhur shows up and he is going to do some damage, but not enough to actually scare me. And yeah, he's... Uh, oh, because we're on Skype, we can uh, we can safely uh, get into these situations because, uh, well, we keep an eye on uh, both sides of the fight. And yeah, we can just inform each other very quickly about what's happening behind us and there's... The Vamana. Oh, yeah. Hello. I thought you were a very weak champion, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Oh, oh, oh. Let me just kill you then. And, um, yeah, that Vamana is not going to chase me. There we go. Getting a kill. And that Vamana is not going to chase me because he just used his one to knock me up in the beginning of that fight. So, um, yeah, that's awesome. And then, uh, on, well, behind me, 
because I was talking on uh, on the chat uh, behind me. Uh, my Vamana takes out the enemy Vamana, or maybe it doesn't take it out. Yeah, there we go. I wanted to say maybe he doesn't take it out, but at least he comes pretty close. But yeah, he does get the kill. And um, yeah, look at this. I see that guy running by behind there. He can't really go anywhere. Because he is stuck between two turrets. And yeah, bye bye. You're not going to live. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get for be being stuck between the turrets. And um, <laughs> there's really nothing more easy than... Uh, than, than these kind of actions. I mean, that's probably the easiest kill that you can get. A 1 versus 2, or 2 versus 1, behind your turrets, because they can't run out. The only way he could run out was through that jungle path, but yeah, if he tries to do that, then we're just going to follow him and hit him every time he, uh, well, we come near him. And yeah, that is just, that's just no good. So I held buff, and we're going for the right lane push, because I want to take out that second turret as well. Yeah, I'm using the speed boost whenever I can, uh, as long as I'm not in combat. Um, because once I'm in combat, I'm trying to uh, to use it for my escape, because as an escape it is way better than it would be, well, just to go into a fight because you can into, go into a fight pretty easily just run in most fights are pretty stationary and at this point there um uh yeah well, well we we were discussing about going for fire giant so i was trying to not get it alone here although it seems like it but simon was going to help me and with Vamana here, we could easily take this out. As you can see, I uh, lose some health, but, well, I could pretty much take down 80% of it, and then if someone else just showed up, I could do it. Well, we could do it. But as you can see, I can't do it, and I should have turned around and <laughs> ran out that way, because you run way faster that way. Anyway, um... Yeah, the solo didn't work, and yeah, I backed out because I noticed that he wasn't coming, and I knew, of course, that I wasn't going to be able to, uh, uh, yeah, to take it out on my own. So reading a new item here, it is pretty crappy. So we're going for another item. Yeah, it prevents healing, and the only one that's uh, useful for is someone with an actual heal, like hell. But I'm not going to buy an item for someone who's completely underleveled and uh, underfarmed. Because that's not the way it works. Plus, she's um, yeah, she's good at escaping, but that really doesn't mean anything. So, come on. Using the ultimate. Getting one kill. And, come on. Grab that second one. Grab me the second one. Double kill! <laughs> Actually cool. Yeah. I like that they, uh, they made these different, uh, yeah, like coins that are in the top. So that you can see what you actually got out of a team fight. They stay pretty long. And, um, yeah, you can uh, see for pretty long what you got out of a team fight. Getting healed up here a little bit. So I'm turning around. Now there's nothing to be had. So nobody's low, so I'm just going to run out. And we're going for the um, lifesteal attack speed. Although it may not be the best on uh, Kali, it is the best for my playstyle. So, it's what we hear a lot from uh, commentators, that uh, some items are just bad. But that's not true. If your playstyle makes that you're like me for example i'm i'm always in the uh in the front of a fight i want to be in the front of a fight with uh, with kali and yeah because of that i need the lifesteal and i le need the attack speed because i'm going to do 
a bunch of damage, but I'm also going to take a huge amount of da uh, of damage for that. Uh, well, uh, for for my actions. And um, yeah, obviously I want to heal that back up. So what's going to happen is I'm just going to go for that life steal because I know then I'm going to stay alive. So I'm. Um, I'm going for health and life steal and attack damage all at the same time, making sure that I can actually survive the fights that I want to be in. And getting a very easy kill here on the damage buff. As I said, the Hand of the Gods not that awesome in the late game. <laughs> it still does the same thing as in the early game, obviously. But yeah, because it doesn't scale with level, it is uh, pretty much useless in the late game. So uh, someone else took out the fire giant, by the way, uh, a while ago. I think it was the Artemis. And um, yeah, I actually put in the uh, chat uh, attack fire giant when she was doing it. But yeah, fire giant can be taken out on your own if you have some life steal going, or if you're just a very tanky character. Yeah, they're trying to gank me with the three of them, but that's not going to work. First of all, I'm way too mobile. Uh, second, yeah, they don't have enough damage to actually kill me. So I get two assists here, and this is my third assist. Come on, oh, we're not going to get him, are we? No, he's too fast. The baby runs too fast, man. He is such a ridiculous champion. The super baby. Anyway, two uh, two assists out of that. That's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. So 870 gold left, and I decide to not spend it. You know, I could have gotten a, a speed boost out of that. Because nobody's getting that. But yeah, Heavenly Agility or Creeping Curse would both have been great here. So we're going for a little bit more on on this. Yeah, I almost killed it before I could uh, use my... Uh, what's it called? Hand of the Gods. So yeah, two buffs running on me now. Uh, everyone else has one buff, the, the Fire Giant. And yeah, I'm just going in here. Screw this. Yeah, getting knocked back once again by Anur. And he is just, well, not very strong, so I'm not really scared of him. He's just, he has a lot of utility. And yeah, I took down that, um, uh, that boar there. Because you can actually kill it. You can actually kill it before it hits you. But <laughs> Yeah, the uh, the ultimate from uh, uh, what's her name, Artemis, is pretty useful early on, uh, and then in the late game, if you don't get fed, it's not really that useful anymore. So yes, I wanted to steal that. Sue me. Obviously, I wanted to steal that. So yeah, we're going to take down this guy because, well, what else are, do we have to do? Unfortunately, I don't get the kill. Because uh, Artemis does way more damage than I do. Yeah, there's someone behind us. I saw him. And, yeah, grabbing that kill then. Because you have to steal some kills, man. So, there's uh, no warning on when the phoenixes spawn. And, yeah, at this point, the surrender comes in. Because they realize they have no chance against us. We are just so good. <laughs> Actually, it's not entirely true, but yeah, we were pretty far ahead. So I go 505, uh, Simon goes 6 to 6. Great scores, decent farm. Uh, Artemis has some more, but she has 11 kills. And um, yeah, we were 37 to 12. Um, yeah, and we were 14k gold ahead. So yeah, you can see how that works out. Um, it's not pretty. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Gigi.